In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the time lapse feature of the PFY Maverick. Let's do it. So just a plug for the previous videos, if you haven't seen the review of this gimbal or the first impressions of this awesome little thing, then click up there or you can find some videos in the description. But let's jump straight into it. There are two ways how you can use the time-lapse feature and I'm going to show you both. But before we can do that, you have to make sure that your camera has been set up perfectly and the right way. Now, first of all, obviously balance the camera on the gimbal and make sure that your camera is connected to the gimbal via the micro USB cable or whichever manufacturer you're using, the right cables come with the gimbal. So make sure you use one of these gimbals to connect your camera with the gimbal. Next thing you need to do is make sure your camera is on the manual mode because the actual gimbal is trigger triggering the shutter and taking pictures on the camera which means make sure your camera is on the manual mode obviously make sure your white balance is manual your iso is manual your autofocus is manual everything is manual otherwise your time lapse won't work but this is another video how to make time lapses once your camera is connected to the gimbal do not turn it on until you turn the cam uh, gimbal actually on Turn the gimbal on first and once your gimbal is turned on go to the menu by holding down the menu button find a section that says camera and press menu button again now choose the right manufacturer your camera has because the gimbal needs to know which camera is connected to actually how you can trigger the shutter and everything else so choose your manufacturer i'm on sony at the moment press okay and then now turn on the camera the first way how i'm going to teach you how to do the timeless mode is my favorite mode and i think is the best mode and i'm going to show you the second version as well but the first version you need to understand that until you can use the second one so how you can enter the time lapse feature is go onto the menu by holding down the menu button long press on the menu button and then go onto the time lapse section of it press the menu button again now you're going to see a few things or a few options over here the time is how long does it take to finish and start the time lapse you change the time by going left and right so holding the joystick left or right you can choose the time once you have selected your desired time press the menu button again to save it now next time you go onto the time lapse menu you can already see that your timing has been changed the next thing is the acc which is which stands for like acceleration or accelerometer or whatever but basically what that does is just how smooth do you want the ending and the start of the movement to be so basically you have your beginning and start point there's a point in the beginning and on the end and how fast do you want it to stop or how smoothly do you want it to stop and start rather fast or like that i wouldn't change this i think this is perfect settings over there i'd leave it at then 10. the next thing is the shutter now when you press on that go onto the menu button and then now you can change your shutter speed there's one second 1.5 two seconds 2.5 seconds if you don't want to do that you can change your shutter also on the camera once you have selected your maybe usual favorite settings press the menu button again on the time so that it would save these settings next time you go on to the time lapse you've already got these set changed to start the time lapse move over to the start section and now the thing how this works is once you press start it's going to ask you please set the start point the gimbal is beeping and then you have 10 seconds to choose the starting point and the ending point was wherever the camera was already previously as you can see it's creating a time lapse already if you want to quit the time lapse just go down to the menu button or press mode button and it goes back you can go out that way to me this was not the ideal ideal way how you can st set the starting and ending point because before you go into the menu kind of choose this the ending point of your camera where you want the time lapse to end because then you have to go to the camera and then once you press start then you have 10 seconds to choose the starting point but there is going to be an upgrade coming a firmware upgrade where when you press on the start pl place over there you can choose the start and the ending point so once the firmware is re released you can do that which is miles more easier
Now, once you know how to do that, the second way how you can do the time lapse is like a shortcut by pressing the joystick four times. Now, once you've pressed it four times, it's actually gonna use the exactly the same settings as you have set on the time-lapse settings. When you press it four times, the actual camera is not triggering the shutter. It's just making the movement and it's gonna use the same way. Once you press it four times, you have 10 seconds to actually select your starting point and the ending point is how it is exactly the same as on the time-lapse settings app but when you press it four times you can use video for the time-lapse whereas on the time-lapse settings it's using photos what i recommend you to do is if you want to use the video version of this time-lapse basically press record on your camera before press the joystick four times now the camera is beeping or the actual gimbal is beeping and i can choose the start point once you have chosen it with my joystick, as you can see, the camera is slowly, slowly moving and it's actually recording the video now. Obviously, remember, if you want to change the timings, go back to the time lag settings and change the timings over there. And this is how you can use the time lapse on the PFI Maverick video mode and photo mode. Boom. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. I will meet you in the comment section below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching, bye.